Footage showed the Israeli interception of a rocket in Upper Galilee, northern Israel on Saturday. Sirens have been sounding in northern Israel through the day, according to the army. The exchange of fire between Hezbollah and Israel intensified along the border between Lebanon and Israel following a strike in Beirut on Friday that killed more than 30 people, including women and children. Among those killed in the strike were Ibrahim Akhil, who was in charge of Hezbollah's elite Radwan force, and Ahmed Wabi, another senior commander in the group's military wing. Israel and Hezbollah have traded fire regularly since Hamas' October 7 assault on southern Israel ignited the Israeli military's devastating offensive in Gaza. Hezbollah pounded northern Israel with 140 rockets Friday, a day after the militant group's leader Hassan Nasrallah vowed to retaliate against Israel for a mass bombing attack, the Israeli military and the militant group said. Israel's military said the rockets came in three waves Friday afternoon targeting sites along the ravaged border with Lebanon. Hezbollah said its attacks had targeted several sites along the border with Katyusha rockets, including multiple air defense bases as well as the headquarters of an Israeli armored brigade they said they'd struck for the first time. The Israeli military said 120 missiles were launched at areas of the Golan Heights, Saift and the Upper Galilee, some of which were intercepted. Fire crews were working to extinguish blazes caused by pieces of debris that fell to the ground in several areas, the military said. The military did not say whether any missiles had hit targets or caused any casualties. Huge plumes of smoke billowed over Kfar Seir village in southern Lebanon on Thursday as Israeli shelling intensified along the Lebanese border. A video obtained by the Associated Press showed large plumes of smoke rising from a forest in Kfar Seir. Lebanon has been on the brink of all-out war with Israel for the past year, with Israel and Hezbollah trading fire and Israeli warplanes breaking the sound barrier over Beirut almost daily terrorizing people in their homes and offices. Hezbollah began striking Israel almost immediately after Hamas' October 7 attack that sparked the war in Gaza.